Yo, my people, what's really good? You already know what it is. It's your brother, OX Monica's son. I had to do the thing today, man. I had to talk to you, lot. You get what I'm saying? You already know what it is, man. You already know it's not about positivity and just peer upliftment, man's dealing with. You get me? It's my earth strong today, and it's the end of 2022. So I just wanted to do this video just to give some positive energy out there, but also just to touch base with some of you new followers you new supporters, you know what I'm saying? I've got some new fans that are following the journey and that, you get me? You lot, A lot of you lot have become like man's family, you understand? So man just have to break some things down to the new lot and also give some information to the people that have been following the journey for a minute, you get what I'm saying? So yeah, man, it's been a deep, December's been kind of deep for me still. The whole year's been kind of deep for me, you get me? The whole year's been kind of deep for me, especially like, I won't even lie to you, like, I didn't realise the impact of them videos that I was doing. You see the videos where man's just walking up to the camera and man's just talking the thing and whatever God's giving man on that day, that's what man's just putting out to the world, do you understand? And obviously it comes from man's experiences and all the pain and the joys and experiences man's had living in this thing here, this Babylon, England thing, you get what I'm saying? So a lot of them, them talks, them walks that I do and that, they come from a place of love, you get what I'm saying? And especially it was, I think it was Carnival, not in all Carnival this year, I bucked so many people randomly and the love I received, yeah, was just, but I, I won't even lie, like, there's certain things I need to talk about today and that's kind of why I got these on because if man shed two tears, like man's already cried this morning, you get me? Man's already cried in the AM when man woke up, when man gave time to the most high because there's levels to this thing, cause there's levels to life, you understand? There's levels to understanding and there's levels to pain, fam. And there's levels to how you deal with that pain. You understand? So I just got to thank God because God's given me so much, like, he's given me so much discernment and so much perspective where I have been through it, but I've been through so much pain because I've cried so much, fam, like in this lifetime, because in this vessel, but I've also experienced so much joy. You get what I'm saying? And God's given me the perspective to understand that when I'm going through them dark times, my memories are flooded with all the good times. So I'm not left like, oh, nah, I'm not left in that hole because cause that hole, sometimes if nobody puts a hand down there to pick you out of it, you'll be stuck down there. Do you understand? So that's why men deal with so much gratitude and deal with so much thanksgiving. You get what I'm saying? Because so differently, imagine this year, the beginning of December, um, not even the beginning of December, like the start of December, this brother Jeffrey, yeah, brother, I love you, my brother. I love you, cuz you already know what it is, fam. I've spoken to you on the phone and that, and you know what it is, fam. Like, this brother's from Reading, yeah, this brother, yeah, and some of you that are the new followers, you might not know this, you get what I'm saying, yeah, but basically, I got shot. I got shot like four or five times um, in 2006, and basically, this brother Jeffrey saved my life, fam. You get what I'm saying, yeah? This guy saved my life, bro. Like I said, I love you, cuz differently, fam. You know what I'm saying, yeah? And, like, my man gave me CPR and all this stuff, bro. like, while I was on the floor bleeding, like, and certain things what my man told me, told me in the conversation that we had, like, it opened up a door to a lot of the memories, like, and a lot of the things that I, that I kind of processed, you know what I mean? A lot of it hurts, you get me? But talking to him and the weeks after, like, I spoke to him about two weeks ago now, three weeks ago, yeah, I spoke to him two weeks ago, like, I've, I've known how strong I've become. I've seen my strength. I've seen the fact that speaking to this brother and him telling me, like hearing a man tell me, bro, you died in my arms, bro. Like I saw that I, I saw life leave your eyes. Like for him to tell me that and certain other things he told me just about my body being lifeless, bro. Like having a lifeless body just lying there with blood coming out coming pouring out of me do you get what i'm saying certain things he told me and certain certain it's how he told me certain things as well and this is not i'm on you jeffrey because you you're just giving me you're just giving me what i needed to hear fam do you understand like and it's a thing where like like i said to my man on the phone and i and i put it into music if you lot are following the music and you lot are really listening you lot will understand like i've told you lot in several songs like right man died that day i said in a song man died that day at the hands of a crazy prayer do you know what I'm saying? There's one thing I hold there. Baby India, I hold here. Far from... you know what I'm saying? Like, so I speak about dying, fam, in loads of my music, fam. Like, not, not that I want to die. I speak about the fact that I died, fam. So, man knew I died already. You feel what I'm saying? Like, man remember 
Man remember being in so much pain from the gunshots and all of a sudden there was no pain. You feel me? There was no pain at all. And man remember that, you know what I'm saying? And, and I remember, I've always remembered that. I'll always keep that memory, you get me? Man remember going up in the clouds and all that and seeing all the high rise buildings and all that. And then all of a sudden man was back in man's body, you feel me? And the thing that touched me the most, Jeffrey, yeah, is when you said to me, yeah, when you said to me, right, bro, when you left your body and you died and then you came back in your body, like you held my hand and I asked you, bro, what are you living for? What are you living for? And bro, you said to me that, right, I said to you, right, I'm living for my daughter. These times here, I never had a daughter, blood. I never had a child. You get what I'm saying? I had a daughter five years later. I had a, I had a daughter five years later. How can that be, bro? No, I had a daughter six year, three years later. Beg your pardon. I had my daughter three years later. I got shot in 2006 and I had my daughter in 2009. And my man said to me, when I, when I came back into my body, I held his hand and I said, right, I'm living for my daughter, blood. That's how I know, fam. He talks in the scripture about God sees us before we're born, bro. He sees us before we even enter our mother's wombs. Do you understand? So that's evidence of that. For me to say to my man, bro, I'm living for my daughter and I never had a child. I never had a child, fam. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? So that tells me this thing's deeper than we know. There's levels to life. There's levels to the most high. There's levels to this thing that we call being a human. That's why I say to man, find your purpose. That's why I try to drill it. Find your purpose. Find what God's instilled in you and go out and give it and share it with the world. Do you understand? So Jeffrey, I love you, my brother, man. And there's one thing that you said, cuz, yeah. You said to me, right, a part of you died that day, bro. Because obviously a part of me died. I know that, fam. A part of you died that day. And a part of the brer who pulled that trigger, a part of him died that day, fam. So I'm saying to you, cuz, trigger man, cuz, I'm not even going to say your name. You already know what it is, fam. I'm Nigerian. You're Nigerian, cuz. You know what it is, fam. Man, love you, bro. It's a, it's a love that's hurtful, cuz. It's a love that, that fucking grips my heart certain times, cuz. But man, love you, bro. And man don't need you to love man back, cuz. Man don't need you to accept the forgiveness. You understand? But man, love you, cuz, because... At that time, man, know what I was doing, bro. I was doing so much things that were wrong on this earth, cause like I was some for someone of my nature and and someone of my spirit and my heart, the things that I was doing at that time, I was running a hundred miles an hour down the wrong road, fam. So you didn't know that, fam, but something something upstairs knew that. Whether it's God, whether it's the devil, wh whatever it was, I don't even know, fam. I don't understand it, but for some reason. God hardened your heart that day and made you pull the trigger and made you want to kill me, fam. But you wanting to kill me took me from this road and it put me down this road, fam. So forever, man's filled with gratitude because, like, you don't even understand it, fam. A man, man's just about overstanding it. You understand? So, Jeffrey, because I love you, fam, man. Man's due to meet you and link up with you and you know what it is because man's got work to do on this thing because... And if anybody's watching this, like, I'm trying to push this thing for 2023. Like, we all need to learn CPR, cuz. Because that CPR that that you learned, that's what saved my life, fam. That you learned CPR. And from what he told me on the phone, he didn't even want to go on the course to learn the CPR, you feel me? But my man went and learned the CPR. My man saved my life, fam. So I'm forever grateful, cuz. I'm forever filled with gratitude, cuz. I'm forever filled with gratitude, blood. Trust me, cuz. I'm so grateful, blood, because when you found me, like, you saw what man was doing, cuz. Man was doing God's work, fam. You get me, cuz? Man was doing God's work, bro. So, I'm forever thankful, blood. I'm forever thankful, man. I'm thankful to every single one of you, like, that show man love and support, man. Because this thing here hurts, fam. Trust me, sometimes it hurts, blood. But, man, find the strength, cuz. Man, find the strength within. Man, try to find the strength through the most high, through prayer. You get me? And, man, find it, fam. Man, find it. You get me? That's what I'm saying to you. That's why I got the shades on, fam. There's been tears today. You get me? But yeah, I just find God, everybody. I find God, fam. God's let me see another, let me see another year on this earth, blood. And I just say to you, find your purpose, man. And if you're going through anything right now, if you're going through dark days right now, just remember, I'm the same bread. I was lying on the floor with bullet holes all through me. I'm the same bread. I got sectioned not once, but twice, cause they forgot about me, bro. They put me in a mad home and they told me I was nothing, bro. And I'm the same bread that's giving you like, all these fucking wisdom and giving you like, all these gems, man. I love you, man. You already know what it is, man. It's your brother, OX Monica's son. You already know it's love, man. Jeffrey, man, I love you, my brother.